Christoph Harbour Development and the Ketishan Hill projects benefited from millions of dollars used by the developers to save their projects, yet both projects have not reached near their stated potential. In the past, some citizens and political pundits have criticized the investment made through the Sugar Industry Diversification Foundation, SIDF, saying it was money that should have been spent on social programs, health and public infrastructure. Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew was asked during his October roundtable with the news media about the current status and intention of the government to ensure the millions of dollars invested do not go to waste. The Prime Minister indicated that discussions have been held regarding the two entities. When it comes to the Christoph Harbour matter, we are looking at that very, very seriously. We know that there are other investors who are interested in seeing Christoph Harbour, seeing it move forward. Um, and so a number of investors have been coming to the fore asking about Christoph Harbour as a venture for them. I cannot give you anything concrete at this time as in a signed deal that is ready to go. But I can tell you that there are serious um, developments in terms of discussions on that. There are discussions until something is actually signed. So because they're in discussions, that is where they are. Now, when it comes to Ketishan Hill, it is the same matter. We, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, we have invested heavily in Ketishan Hill to get it off the ground, especially post-COVID. Right now, I think maybe over 100 people are employed to Kittishan Hill, and it's providing a significant number of jobs. Uh, we had seen an uptick in interest for the Kittishan Hill from an investment standpoint, but also an uptick in interest in people going to Kittishan Hill as, as patrons uh, um, or customers, so to speak. So in a sense, we have seen some movement there, and we have serious persons who are interested in Kittishan Hill very serious persons who want to make serious investments. So I can say based on our, um, what we have done so far in making St. Kitts and Nevis a conducive environment for investments and businesses, we have seen serious inquiry, very serious. And I think if you were to ask me my, that question in the next two months, I think I, I would have a more definitive answer as far as that is concerned. Two were to be iconic tourism development projects in the Eastern Caribbean and are significantly incomplete at this time. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.